We conducted a randomized control trial comparing microperk and retrograde interrenal surgery for the management of small renal calculi. In this video, we describe our technique of microperk initially. Ultrasound guided calicial puncture is performed using a 16 gauge microperk needle. The puncture is confirmed using a contrast study and return of clear irrigation from sound French ureteric catheter. The 0.9 mm flexible microperk telescope is introduced through the stillet via a three-way connector. Once the stone is visualized, the stone is fragmented using a 272 micrometer laser fiber. The three-way connector allows the saline irrigation, laser fiber and the flexible microperk telescope. The aim is to completely dust the stone into minute fragments which can be spontaneously passed through the ureter. The ureteric catheter and foley catheter can be removed on the first post-operative day and the patient is discharged usually. The patient usually has a minute puncture wound which heals without any significant scarring. Our technique of retrograde internal surgery is described next. Access sheet is placed over a guide wire and the flexible erythroscope is introduced. Usually the lower calicial stone is basketed and placed in upper calyx before stone fragmentation. In case of large bulk lower calicial stone as in the present case, stone is fragmented initially into smaller fragments. These fragments are then replaced into the upper calyx for further fragmentation. A tipless nitinol basket is used to retrieve these fragments from the lower calyx. These fragments, if they are large, they are placed in the upper calyx and fragmented again. If they are small, they can be directly retrieved. The larger fragments which have been repositioned in the upper calyx are further fragmented and any significant remaining residual calculi can be retrieved using a tipless nitinol basket. Once the stone is cleared, usually a double J stent is inserted 